In this lecture, we want to divide a given straight line into unequal parts. Okay, in unequal parts, say for example, one upon six, one upon five, one upon four, one upon three, and one upon eight. These are the some unequal proportion that we have to divide. We already have learned how to divide a given line into equal parts. So, if you have not uh, gone through that part, then you can revisit the different videos where I have given how to divide a line into equal parts. Now, we will try to learn how to divide a line into unequal parts, like one upon six, one upon five, one upon four, one upon three. That what you have to say the given line is AB. Now you draw perpendicular at A and B with equal length. To make it equal length, what I will do, I will take the compass or put the compass at point A and draw a curve. Okay, in that case, I am taking a different color here. Okay. Draw curve uh, from point A on this side. Okay, fix it properly at A. Okay, fix at A. Now you draw the curve. On this side. Similarly, Bring the compass at point B and draw the curve. So this this curve drawing this curve is giving you a fixed length of the line. Now you have to draw two perpendicular, one at A and one at B, and we will cut these two arcs. Okay, I will draw two perpendicular now. So here I have drawn two perpendicular, one at A, another at B, the same distance. Connected them by the line. So now, what you can see there, it has become an rectangle of A, B, D, C or A, B, C. Okay. Next job is to draw the diagonal of A, B, and B, C. Okay. I'll try to draw the diagonal of A, B, and that is A, D, and B, C. Okay. So I have drawn the diagonal of A, D, and B, C. Now they are intersecting say at a point, so that point name I am giving as E. Let us say they are intersecting at point E. Okay. Now from E, draw a perpendicular on line AB. Okay. So, uh, simply I can draw the perpendicular using this also or otherwise what you can do, you can use uh, then you can do it also. This using that also, I can draw the perpendicular now. You see exactly 0 degree. Okay, so get a 90 degree. So I can do this perpendicular where it is cutting. Let us say it is cutting at a point F at the line A. Now take the scale once again, connect C F. Okay, take scale and connect C. Point C and point F. Before that, let me tell you that. So this whatever the parameter you have drawn from this E, then it is cutting a B line at F. Now this A F will be nothing but equal to F. Or you can say A F will be half of the line. So half portion is Next part is we have to find out the one third. To get the one third, you connect B and C. Sorry, F and C. Connect F and C. Okay. So I am connecting F and C. Point C and F. Okay. It is connected. Now see where it is cutting the diagonal AD or you can say diagonal E. Let us say it is cutting the diagonal E at any point G. Okay, give this point name as G. Okay, now draw a perpendicular from G to line AB. Okay, from here I will draw a perpendicular. You, you can use your compass and either use the compass or you can use the mini doctor also to do that. Okay. Exactly the same parallel line. So okay, you can give a name here as H. Okay. Then this AH is one third of line. 
Similar process connect CF wherever it is cutting from there into the perpendicular that will be one fourth of line width. Then from that point you connect C so like that you can draw it. Okay. So but the next steps now we got a one third. H is nothing but one third of line width. Similarly, I will find out the one fourth, one fifth, and one fifth. So now what I did after that I have connected uh, this A B uh, this, sorry. Uh, CF, it has uh, bisected the diagonal at G and have drawn a perpendicular. It is the then I have connected CH, it is cutting the diagonal at I. I have drawn a perpendicular IJ. Then from I have connected CJ, it is cutting the line at K. I have connected KL, drawn the perpendicular. Then LC, I have connected, it is cutting the line at N. Okay, now this distance you see here. This AN distance will be nothing but one sixth of AB. AL distance will be one fifth. AB, AJ distance will be one fourth of AB, AH distance will be one third of AB, and AR distance will be one so This is the process by which you can divide the line in unequal part. There I did one sixth, one fifth, one fourth, one third. AB. Quickly I will tell the summary what I did. This is the line AB given. I have drawn two perpendicular of equal length at point A and point B, and then I have connected them. So it became a ABDC rectangle. Now I have drawn the diagonal, major diagonal both sides which is intersecting at point E. From B I have drawn the perpendicular. So this perpendicular that is AF, I got the distance AF. This AF is nothing more than AF, it is nothing more than half of the line. Similarly, you connect the other diagonals and see where it is uh, cut, cutting or where it is cutting the main diagonal AB, and then you draw the perpendicular. The way you continue, the same way, and you get the defined division. So this BH is giving you a division of one third, then you get one fourth, one fifth, one sixth. That way you can get one seventh, one eighth, one ninth, one tenth, whatever you want. One upon n plus one. Okay. So this is how you can divide the line. Unequal 